Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think that it does not matter what his credentials are, he is going to stand with him and prove that he's better, they usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab. The jab is high, jab is low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. is one of the greatest bantamweights of all time. And he is truly in his element on Fight Night. Absolutely loves the bright lights and everything that Fight Night entails. Another big spot for Dillashaw here tonight. TJ Dillashaw, ready to make a statement here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this flyweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Matthias Nicola. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, TJ Dillashaw. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Well, with no shortage of momentum, here's the UFC Bantamweight Champion, TJ Dillashaw. His striking has gone to a completely different level under Dwayne Bang Ludwig, training at elevation there in Colorado. TJ Dillashaw, three-time NCAA qualifier as a wrestler in college, but known primarily as a striker since crossing over to mixed martial arts. Dillashaw going for the takedown here, but he misses. To the world class TJ Dillashaw, you can't have a conversation about the greatest bantamweights of all time without mentioning the. Lands a jab. He sets this really high pace with the hope that his opponent can't keep up. We see him do it. Nico allows in half guard now. Oh, look at that high-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Dillashaw gets back up. Big body kick. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Oh, you talk about picks in the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do 
as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, his hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. And he lands it. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. Dillashaw gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Back and forth we go. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before the opponent can react. Oh, thwack, that is a solid kick right there. Huh. Second round, straight ahead. Huh. And there is the horn. Confidence has to be high after that round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, what the? You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right. Round two. Bang, little tie on full display here. Dillashaw in a really good flow here, DC. Controlling the fight behind that jab. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. In the engagement there. Oh, uh, nice. Great job setting up that fight. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice body shot. Oh! Oh, big left. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. He's in the mount. Nico Lyles right back to the full mount. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Circling away towards the left now. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. Big bubble leg, level change. In position for a submission attempt here. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. Good armbar tip here. What he's got to do now is just be very aggressive to try to finish this fight. This is a guy that never gives up on himself. He was able to clear his head, defend the arm bar. The fight was done. He loves to fight on. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, big shots raining down. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. That guillotine is he got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Mateus Nicola. Two rounds in the books. <laughs> All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round. DC, a lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going. You ready to fight? Ready. Third, Third round underway. You control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. 
Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, in stringing them together so effectively, never doing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the beautiful timing and placement to land the flying man. Lands a nice leg kick. Back to the single. Gotta be careful here. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Dillashaw's trying for a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Ooh, strong clip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. Oh, man, that was slick. All right, opens the guard, now stacked guard. He a better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, great reversal to top position by Dillashaw. Nice defense. Move from work, guys. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys are going back and forth on the ground and ultimately. Oh, that's a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, body shot. Oh, man, these are hard. Great job getting to the position and landing the cake. Not there yet, but might get the submission here short. Nico allows in half goal. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Nico allows him to transition back to side control now. Seconds to go now. Takes his back now. All right, All right so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Nico Lau's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, how about the accuracy oh. land right there? His opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, it's getting hammered. He's going back. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. A hook to the head by Dillashaw. And follows up with another one. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, nice high kick. It lands oh, yeah. a nasty strike. His strike attempt there is blocked. Strong straight left there. Nico Lau's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Oh, fighter lands a punch to the head out of the clinch position. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Nikola. Timing and precision on point, another punch lands. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body, connects there. We'll see if he can see gets on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Ken Velasquez. Look at that. All right, so 
now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. And now some knees. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Dillashaw's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. over giving up that submission. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter and see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Fifth and final round. This crowd is trying to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. Oh, my God. And now he's got a hurt back. that jab once again. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Oh! Back the These two guys are trading huge shots. He's very close to the finish here. What a fight! So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after party. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 19 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, DJ Dillashaw! All right, so a big win for one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, TJ Dillashaw, using every skill in his arsenal to get the job done tonight. And he's got a ton of skill, right? He can do everything inside the octagon, either a kickboxer.